Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragons Channel. My name is April and today I got my Ink Flight box in. This box is $25 a month plus shipping and handling, but I do have a code down below that will save you, uh, the sh give you free shipping and handling on subscriptions. Also the link to subscribe to this. This is a fountain pen ink sampling subscription. And we're going to see what I got for the month of August. It's also ones that will get you um, other objects for fountain pens. So here we go. There's your peak. And let's see what we have inside for today. Ooh, this is nice. It is a soft brain. Hmm, okay. This is the Kyoto A5 soft brain biz notebook whether you're going back to school or working remotely this flexible versatile design of a kyoto soft ring biz notebook provides a canvas for all types of thoughts and ideas have you ever struggled to write when in a wired bound notebook because of the uncomfortable uncom metal rings nice these are not <laughs> Would get in the way, the Kyoto Soft Ring Notebook replaces those offensive coils with pleasant, pliable plastic rings. This A5 size notebook contains five sheets of six millimeter pages with dotted line format. Use the header and the edge title to help segment, segment the book and by entry, date, or subject. The paper itself is, has a smooth feel with a quality typical of Japanese Ooh, sorry Japanese stationery <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> and they weren't kidding because this does not it, it does fly down here is the lines I don't see the dot grid part but it's very hard to see the dot grid but it's more lined than it is dot grid and oh I see what they see by what they mean by the edge title right here so that's quite interesting that's something different because that's the space that they have okay that's one thing this G Lalo straight edge folded over card with envelope hmm. oh this is pretty send a friend or a family member a written note on top notch stationery from G Lalo this French made card features a 300 gram laid finish with a whimsical watercolor illustration print. The tissue fine line envelope completes the impressive presents pre presentation for the recipient. Very nice. Oh, I see what they're saying about the this part here is very tissuey. So yeah, this is very nice. I love the it's a snail, it's a fountain pen snail. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we have that. And then, of course, we have the inks, which I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. So this is going to be interesting. Let me first. Here is the inks that we get. We get seven ink samples with two milliliter sample a piece of the inks. I'm going to set this aside real quick. I'm going to tell you right now, I have a bad feeling about this, but I'm going to go ahead and read you off these lovely inks. Since 2004, Pure Pens have delivered pure joy to writing enthusiasts within the UK and beyond. The proud Welsh company developed a line of Celtic theme quality fountain pen inks in 2018. Managing director Ross Adams helped pick the, ver the colorful variety variety of best-selling fan favorite inks to share with you all okay <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of mispronunciation if, if I do this so we're gonna start and I'm gonna try to be nice about this Cox world world this ochre ink takes its name from the honey coloring excuse me honey colored stone buildings of the English village in this region and you will see how bad I mispronounced this word but it's a gorgeous color there you go Pendine Sands 
This ink aims to replicate uh, the evocative scene of the sun setting over West Wells and the warm orange light that blankets the beach landscape. That's an interesting color. Cadwallader. King Cadwallader was the last king of Britain and boasts the most famous red dragon on his coat of arms. Hmm. There you go. That is a lovely red. All right, Lambert State is a slated gray ink that takes its name from the town of Lansbury. I'm saying I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm very sorry. With its mountains railway, well, railway and slate mines. There you go. It's a quite interesting color. C W M Idwal. C W M Idwal is a hanging valley in the Snowdomia, with a picturesque lake at its bed. This murky green has a bluish hue and reddish sheen. Hmm. Okay. This is the Celtic Sea. The Celtic Sea captures the fresh, wild, and untamed elements of the Irish, Welsh, and Scottish waters. Ooh. That is a gorgeous blue. And last but not least, the Flower of Scotland. This vibrant, rich purple takes, excuse me, ink takes its name from the Scottish thistle, a symbol of the Scottish, Scotland identity. And that, my friends, is a very gorgeous purple. I do apologize for all the incorrect pronunciations of these inks. I don't claim to be really good with pronunciation. I do apologize. We get the card, which I'm going to put here. And then we also got a notebook. All in all, I love the subscription. This subscription is absolutely the bomb. I enjoy getting new inks. I enjoy learning about new inks. I've never heard of this company. I don't think I've heard anybody use a pure ink pure pen inks so this is news to me and I really love this because they do introduce me to new inks that I've never heard of and get a joy of playing with so what did you think did you like this box mm, what did you not like about the box do you think it's worth the $25 I do and especially if you use my code to it's not my code but it's the code for free shipping so you don't have to pay shipping but if you don't use it they'll charge you Heads up. Let me know in the comments below. If you've stayed this long, please rate this video whether you liked it or you don't. For those of you who subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all my subscribers. However, if you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do a video every Saturday. It's a plan with me and my Erin Condren, which is my social media. But I also do unboxings. I'm moving some of my lives from Twitch over to my YouTube and other things. Um, I had some few requests that I need to get my butt in gear and do those videos. So if you see my icon right over there, click it. That way you subscribe to this channel. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure it's set to all. That way when I upload new content, hopefully YouTube is notifying you. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day. Bye.